Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. This time let's uh, take a look at a couple of cool board games uh, that can help you to learn about ancient history. For start I would like to suggest Mesopotamia. In this game players uh, compete deliver 4 offerings uh, to central zikret uh, in order to earn the highest uh, favor from the god. Securing the offering uh, known as a mana is uh, particularly challenging as it can only be acquired through players at the temple consequently players must carefully devise strategies to construct huts and temples on the game board while safeguarding them from potential theft by opponents or being displaced from the zikrat's vicinity highly recommended game due to its user-friendly gameplay and its ability to introduce players to significance of secret offerings in ancient Mesopotamian culture. The next one is Thebes. It is an engaging board game that lasts around 60 minutes, accommodates 2 to 4 players and is suitable for families and teachers with a player age 10 or above. This wonderful game offers an exciting way how to introduce archaeology to kids and is interesting for adults as well. In the game, players step into roles of archaeologists embarking on a global journey to uncover the secrets of ancient civilizations, excavate valuable artifacts and showcase their findings in exhibitions. To begin the game, each player receives excavation permits, an explorer figure and the time stone. The game board features a unique time tracker with 52 weeks one year next one is valley of the kings uh, premium edition in the game participants uh, take on the role of pharaohs uh, striving uh, to fill their tombs uh, with valuable treasures the ultimate goal is uh, to amass uh, the most uh, valuable artifacts uh, by the end of the game the pharaohs uh, featured in the game include historical figures uh, such as uh, Khafre, Khufu, Ramses, Tutankhamun, Cleopatra, Djoser, Hatheptsu and others. Uh, players engage in strategic uh, decision making involving the purchase, uh, play and uh, entombment of cards. Uh, they must vigilantly observe both the cards on the pyramids and the cards they hold in their hands. The cards are large and user-friendly, making them suitable for education purposes as they provide explanation and clear images of pharaohs, Egyptian gods, rituals and precious treasures intended for afterlife. Really, really nice game. Next one is Manostrum Empires. If you enjoy strategic gameplay with elements of mythology, warfare, economic development and Asian civilizations, Manostrum offers all that in one box. By the way, Tam Manostrum is of Latin origin, translating of our sea. It was employed by Romans to refer to the Mediterranean Sea during their conquest and the expansion of Roman Empire. So the game is about Mediterranean area. Uh, in Manostrum each player assumes the role of one of the following empires like Babylon, Carthage, Egypt, Greece or Rome. Throughout the game each empire travels to various locations on the game board to collect gold recruit heroes for battles and earn points in military trade culture and leadership tracks. The ultimate goal is to obtain the highest number of the points. Players have the opportunity to learn about ancient rulers and heroes such as Cleopatra, Caesar, Hannibal, Hercules, Hammurabi and others and it features mythical creatures from Greek, Roman and Eastern mythology as well. So overall a very nice game, one of my favorite games in this list. 
Uh, by the way, guys, uh, which one of these games is your favorite? Uh, write that in the comments. Uh, and by the way, these games are available on Amazon. I left uh, Amazon links in description so you can find these wonderful games with these. But now let's carry on with the next one, which is uh, and Gods of Egypt. In the game, you take on the roles of deities uh, from ancient Egypt, uh, engaging in fierce competition to establish their supremacy. Uh, their objective is uh, to collect uh, devotion points, uh, which can be acquired uh, through various means, uh, such as, uh, for example, controlling obelisks, uh, temples and pyramids, uh, as well as uh, building a devoted following. Game has uh, expansive board, uh, captivating miniatures and intriguing array of monsters and uh, godly powers. Really, really cool game with well-crafted components. Uh, so, what do you think? Uh, do you have any other game titles to suggest or bits to add to these games? Go ahead and share your opinion in the comments. Uh, if you found this episode useful, give it a like and please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be always informed about new episodes. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Have fun playing these wonderful games. Enjoy Asian history and stay tuned for the next episode.